Radio Garage, we're back on the bench. Got another one of these Superstar SS158FB4s on the bench. And I've done one of these before in the past. Well, I've done a few of them, but I know I've done at least one video before. But I uh, just figured I'd throw another video out on one of these, show you guys what they do in case anybody missed the other one. And uh, they're just really nice radios. If you guys want something a little bit cheaper, then uh, RCI 99N4, but you want the same amp section, same power, you can go with one of these. So let's uh, go over what he had done. The amp switch, okay, that's on the Roger Beep switch now. Amp on is going to be Roger Beep button pushed in. Amp off is going to be Roger Beep button out. The only issue with running this with an amp switch is when the amp is off you basically have to put your RF power all the way up to get about three and a half almost four watts carrier now then when you switch your amp on your RF power is going to be too high of a carrier <clears throat> you're going to be over a hundred watt carrier on AM. So you definitely have to <clears throat> roll your RF power back to half or less with the amp on. Otherwise, if I set this up with RF power all the way up and the amp on <clears throat> to not be more than say 75 80 watt carrier, which is what I recommend max for these then when the <clears throat> excuse me when the amp is off you're only going to have about a watt and a half carrier on am it's going to go down to one or uh, it's going to go down to zero to one and a half watts which is i mean there's really no use really talking on a, a watt and a half uh so that's the only problem with these with the amp switch is if you try to set it up one way then it doesn't completely work the other way as far as amp on amp off so just keep that in mind Hopefully I didn't lose you here. I know I'm kind of confusing probably some people, but <clears throat> I'm just going to go over it real quick. When the amp is on, power half or less. When the amp is off, you could do all the way up, okay? Well, it's gonna, and I'm going to go over the levels, but all the way up or all the way down, wherever you want it for amp off. All right, let's see where she's coming in at and turn the mic gain down. We'll check the two meters. Like we always do, this way we get a happy medium. 50 watt slug on the left. This is with the amp off. RF power all the way down, it's just barely keying. That's 0 0.1 of a watt. <clears throat> and it's not even giving us four, about three and a half. All right. Let me show you what it's swinging. Peak. Barefoot RF power all the way up. Hello, radio. Oh, I gotta help if I turn the mic gain up. Hello, radio. Check, 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 check. Audio. Five, 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 four. All right, about 40 plus. And now we could take this out of here and we're gonna check our carrier with the amp off. Or, I'm sorry, the amp on. Peak back off, amp on, power all the way down, Just key in, six watts, about six watts with the amp on, power all the way down, we'll start rolling it up, so there's about 12, there's 12 o'clock right there, if you go past that, it's going to go over 100, it's actually going to go up to about one. 115 ish so don't don't run it up that high but I have to set it like that because with your if your amp was off and I set it for a max 80 75 80 you're gonna keep basically nothing with the amp off all right let's take this out of here we're gonna put in the uh, let's do the uh, 500 watt slug all right Peak kit on. 
power 12 o'clock amp on mic gain all the way up hello radio check audio five 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 audio about 475 hello check 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 audio five 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 450 475 clean all right and what else did I want to show got to show it on the scope so let me turn that off. Oh, let me show. Uh, no, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to show sideband. Here's sideband. Turn that mic game back up. Here's RF power all the way up. Amp is off right now. Sideband power. We're just going to look at the LP because I have the 500 watt slug in there. I'm not going to switch it back out. Audio check. Audio check. Break, 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 break. Audio check. So almost 30. He's always got to get turned down on sideband, otherwise they're uh, really nasty. And amp on. Geek's already on. Hello, audio. Well, she's showing, she's showing 500 peak uh, on the bird. I'm getting about four something there on the LP. Let's try it one more time. Hello, audio check, 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 audio, audio check. All right, so there's that. And now we could come back down here. Turn that off. Go back to AM. Um, leave our power all the way up, mic gain all the way up. I'm going to put the signal into it. Tone into a uh, carrier hum in there. Let me, uh, hold on a second here. I just want to turn the amp on. Here's with the amp on, see if it makes any difference. One, 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 two, three, four, five. Audio check, audio check. Break, break. That's with the amp on. Awesome audio. She's got great audio. As you can see, the amp is on. There's what we're doing output wise. One, two, three, four, five. Audio check. Audio check. Break, break. All right. Let's get her hooked up to this spectrum analyzer. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, we got her hooked up to the spectrum analyzer. And I'll just kind of run over this here quick. Show you five. So you got five megahertz. Okay, really nice clean radio. Can't really ask for anything more out of a Ranger export. That's what who uh, makes these superstars is Ranger. It's a Ranger board. Stuff uh, 15. We'll go to 30. Got one little spur trying to start over there. 60. There you go. Really nice low second harmonic. Go to, well, I will go to 152 just to see. There you go. All right. Let's check out the receive on this thing. Okay, receiver time. So we'll just check sensitivity, sign in measurements first, get that out of the way, then we'll unplug it and we'll hear it through the uh, actual speaker. So there's 11 and change, almost 12. We're getting out of her. And that was, uh, what did I say? Negative 1, 11 and a half. We got it like. Probably more like 111 even. Yeah, there we go. Now we got her up to 12. Pretty darn good for a, a radio with a built-in amp with the fans and everything and all the extra crap that goes on with these. And you got uh, you got everything going through that amp section. So really, really uh, happy about the way this receive, the receive on these uh, come out. So... Let's, uh, what do we want to do? Let's, yeah, let's unplug it. No problem hearing it in there. Let's dial it down at uh, 30% to 130. There's 130. Okay. Let's see if we can hear it in there. Yep. All right, now let's take up our modulation. There's 100% modulation. Now we can really hear it at 130. And 
it at 100, take it to, go down to 135. There's 135. Still hear it in there. So a really nice sensitive receiver, uh, as you saw before there in that one clip, I actually had some skip come through on the darn dummy load. So that was, I think, the first time I've ever had that happen. That's That just tells you guys the kind of conditions we're having right now. I mean, we may not ever see conditions like this for a long time. That's why uh, you're hearing a lot of, uh, so just a lot of, you know, skip out there that you just haven't heard in a long time. All right, so I think that pretty much covers it. We went over, yeah, we went over everything. Um, again, <clears throat> I've mentioned this in other videos. The counters on these, it's going to start high. Then when it warms up like it is now, it's going to drop down right where it needs to be. Uh, the only thing is, now if you're a channel scanner and you go up to different... See, now it goes to 249. You, there's no way you could ever dial these in for every single channel to be dead on. So what I try to do is I try to make sure it's dead on for like the channels that I know you're going to be on, you know, like the middle of the CB band type stuff. And uh, at least you have, you know, 19, 20s on, 21, 22. See, now it's starting to go down. So it's going to fluctuate a little bit. You know, you may see a 4 or um, a 4.9 at the end. You may see a, a 5.0, 5 5.1. But if you're on AM, it's not going to matter. <coughs> really if uh, you're on sideband you're gonna kind of just probably be doing it by ear anyways to see where uh, you want to tune in the receiving state your uh, the station you're receiving and then if anybody's telling you you're off uh, you, you got to use your course you still have your locked fine so that's gonna do it guys uh, appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, thank you much for everybody checking out the new website and we'll catch you guys in the next one so uh if you guys run into any issues on the site that i'm not aware of or you know any bugs that i didn't catch just uh let me know drop me a line or something because uh you guys are you know my uh eyes and and ears out there as far as let me know what's working what's not and and stuff like that you guys pretty much uh let me know where i'm screwing up so i appreciate that and uh, okay, like I said, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Radio Garage, we're off the key.